take us through the life after life after school, getting a cricket contract. How did you get back into rugby? Um, yeah, it's a kind of funny story. So I had two, similar to you, John, I had two big knee injuries standard nine of a trick playing rugby. Um, I always liked rugby. I always liked cricket. But then after my second knee injury, I sort of just lost a bit of interest in rugby. You know, you just sort of go like, you know, geez, this is hard to take, you know. And then cricket was, uh, cricket season was upon upon me and then played cricket and really enjoyed it and started playing for Wellington first side. And then Stellenbosch University phoned me up and said, what are you doing next year? Um, so I said, well, listen, I came to Stellenbosch. So then midway through the, the club season, I swapped to play for Stellenbosch. And then a little Bullen Cricket Academy contract followed suit. So then I was playing cricket. Uh, based in Stellenbosch, um, obviously, as you know, John, our first years of study studying didn't go <laughs> according to plan. And well, then that's uh, really wrong. You can't say studying. It's our first year at Stellenbosch. We know, didn't do any studying. We were just there. My cricket was going well. There wasn't such a thing as studying. Um, and then um, all of a sudden, first years tournament, uh, rugby first years tournament comes comes around, and I get asked to play a bit of uh, rugby for Yendra. Um, and obviously not a very re well-renowned rugby um, res in Stellenbosch. And yeah, I, I, I agree. Play, played, the, played the first year's tournament and we won the plate final against Elsenberg. Absolutely smashed them. And the next moment, you know, I was getting asked to come to play for, you know, certain teams here and there about. So obviously said, now I'm playing cricket. And then funnily enough, the, the um, Stellenbosch was going, Bartis was going to... Um, Bloemfontein, called the Bloemfontein by train, and we play InterVarsity, the old InterVarsity games. And then um, the under 19s and under 21 Marty sides were actually overlapping, and they wanted someone to sit on the bench who can cover almost every position except prop and hooker uh, in the back of forwards. And I was that guy, so they asked me to go. And on the way there, Kuba Smith, who was uh, in our rival school, boys, eh? shame, I mean, obviously not a great school we went to. But he fell ill overnight, and all of a sudden, I was starting at number eight, and the, the flankers next to me was Justin Malk and Bossy Clark, both who went on to play for Western Province. And that was it. You know, I mean, such a crazy start to it. So this was like, say, around about March, um, March, April. Um, and, you know, by the end of that year, you know, I won a SNA 21, uh, a world championship with the SNA 21s, and you and Clyde Rathbone as captain. Uh, Fru de Priya is number nine and a whole host of other good players. And the next day I was walking into you know, a, a nice contract at Western Province and became a Springbok a year later. It was just the most ridiculous transition.